Hello and welcome. My name is J. Michael Bennett. I am an orthopedic sports medicine surgeon. Uh, I specialize in uh, injuries of the shoulders, elbows, and knees. Today we're going to be focusing on the elbow. Moving on to the central portion of the elbow, supination, which means rotating your hand almost like you're carrying a bowl of soup, is, uh, is one of the main motions that we use when we reach for change, when we reach out to twist a doorknob, and this is actually controlled, the majority of supination or strength of supination is controlled by your biceps insertion. This is the biceps muscle here and it inserts right at the radial tuberosity, which is right here. So if my hand is pointed downward, this is the position my bones are in. This insertion right here, this stump, is the biceps tendon. When you flex your arm and then you pull on this tendon here, it supinates the arm. So this is where it inserts on this bone here. Occasionally you can have a tear of this biceps tendon or you can get a tendonitis in this area. When you have a tear, it's usually an audible pop or significant pain with a deformity. You will notice that your arm looks a little abnormal, swollen, and your biceps is shortened. If that is the case, then more than likely you have a biceps rupture. You can have a rupture distally at the lower part, which is where this inserts, which controls your supination, or you can have it up top proximally where you have the, the, the biceps inserts up top and you actually have a defect going distally and you'll have a shortened biceps in the opposite direction. The proximal biceps ruptures usually do not get addressed unless uh, the patient has an issue with the cosmesis. The distal biceps ruptures are usually addressed in patients that are very active or are laborers and depend a lot on their supination strength and on their flexion strength. And usually that is fixed by a small incision over the, uh, the uh, forearm region. And we go in there and we find the tendon and we tack it back down to the bone with some small anchors. And that will usually give you back your strength, allowing you to supinate again. So we've covered the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle, and now the biceps tendon. Moving on to the stabilizers of the elbow, these are more chronic throwing injuries such as the ulnar collateral ligament and the lateral collateral ligament. Lateral collateral ligament is usually injured with an elbow dislocation. Uh, it can occasionally occur in patients that have had a fall, a uh, traumatic injury where the elbow is dislocated and this tendon and ligament do not heal normally. If that's the case, this elbow becomes unstable and this joint slides out of place more frequently. It becomes painful popping and clicking of the lateral aspect of the elbow. And usually if you're active and young and uh, notice significant weakness and pain, we would have to repair or reconstruct this set of ligaments here. This is the lateral collateral ligament. This is the ulnar band of the lateral collateral ligament that runs behind the elbow. And they help stabilize this little radius, radiocapitellar joint here, this little rotating bone here. With these two ligaments gone, this becomes very unstable and the elbow may dislocate. The medial side is more chronic injury, and this is typically the ulnar collateral ligament that's injured with baseball players and throwers. The throwing mechanism exhibits a tremendous amount of stress on the medial aspect of the elbow, which is the inside of the elbow, and that usually goes along with the type of throwing that the patient is doing. With excessive flexion and a valgus stress, it stretches out this ulnar collateral ligament and then into full extension, it continues to exhibit a significant amount of stress along this band here. This is usually what is torn in, in patients that have had an ulnar collateral ligament tear, particularly in throwers and pitchers. If that is the case, many times we can do a procedure called the Tommy John procedure or a reconstruction of the ulnar collateral ligament to stabilize this medial aspect of the elbow and reconstruct this ligament here. That will allow the patient to resume throwing at his previous velocities and give the patient some stability in the elbow. 